Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the second episode of the H and E podcast. I'm Nick, and I'm joined this time by James. Hi, Didlio, neighborinos. Good to be back here this night. And we also got Aaron with us. What's oh, cracking, lacking, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? Today, an interview came out with Jeff Loeb. He was talking with Deadline about kind of Marvel Television's strategy going forward because obviously earlier this year they announced a big partnership with Hulu. They're making four animated shows that are, like, adult-themed Marvel series, like Howard the Duck, I think Tigra, and something else. Um, Modoc is one of them, too. They're supposed to all cross over into, like, an animated type of thing. And then they also announced plans for Ghost Rider and Hellstrom, which are going to be also mature live-action series on Hulu. But besides that, he did say they are planning to make series for Disney Plus that are not going to be tied to what Marvel Studios is doing with Loki and WandaVision and things like that. And that right now, the plan is for two more horror shows to join Ghost Rider and Hellstrom. So people are speculating, okay, what could be the other two shows? Could it be like Man-Thing or uh, Tomb of Dracula or like Werewolf by Night or some kind of obscure supernatural character from Marvel's library? But, um, I don't know, what are your guys' thoughts on Jeff Loeb's super ambitious TV plans? Aaron, what are your thoughts? Just imagine them doing Man-Thing. You're just like, now's our chance. Yeah, because <laughs> Swamp Thing <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> got canceled. Like, yes. Yeah. Our time is now. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, I'm, I don't know what they'd be doing, but, like, I'm game for whatever Marvel TV has to offer. You know, I haven't seen all of the Runaways, but I like what I have seen so far. Yeah. So bring on, bring on more Marvel. Bring it on. But it is yeah. Jeff Loeb though. The Loebster. Yeah. If you said I mean, that like humans was good. Shows. Ooh, okay. I mean, you may not have good opinions, but some of his shows are good. Mm-hmm. Some of the stuff he's produced is good. Right. Like Agent of Shield. Agent of Shield started off bad, and it's only gotten better. Okay. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, James, any Maybe thoughts I'm though? The on the Marvel TV um, plans for expansion? I think the one I'm looking looking forward to the most is Howard the Duck. Yeah. yeah. Just, just like the... Because, like, you could pretty much do anything with Howard the Duck. Like, it's that insane of a character and an idea. I think, um, I think actually Kevin Smith might be attached to that one. I th- I think would be I think would be kind of funny is if they if they reference the 1980s Howard the Duck movie, yeah, in some way, because I think because and you know correct me if I'm wrong but part of Howard the Duck Duck story is like he goes to different he goes to different universes and different dimensions. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that he, Howard the Duck had Howard the Duck and Spider Man had a crossover with Savage Dragon. Oh yeah, yeah, they had a. Yep, they had a crossover. I remember that. And then the creator of Howard the Duck sort of finagled his way into getting Howard the Duck into the Image universe because he like made a clone of him, and Spider-Man took one, and Savage Dragon took one, and then the real Howard the Duck is apparently in the Image universe, just <laughs> with a different color. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's really weird. Lens yeah. on nerd sync. You guys should check that channel out. It's really good. puts in a lot of con- puts in a lot of work. If you like <laughs> comic book history, of like publishing and whatnot. Yeah. But that's your oh, jam. And you, yeah, and you got to get uh, Seth Green to do the voice, yes. like like he did briefly in the in the in the Guardians movies. No, Jim Carrey. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Mewes, oh it, that's uh, that's the. That's the next Jay and Silent Bob project. Yeah. No, but I mean, really though, I, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do. I just, I have to see something like tangible from these shows first. Because right now it's just like, oh, we have all these announcements. Like Ghost Rider's coming and all these animated shows. Like I have to see a trailer. I have to see footage. I gotta see what, what is it going to yeah. look like. <laughs> because I don't even know, I mean it is Hulu, but I don't know how, how dark an adult are they gonna go with Ghost Rider or Hellstrom? Because Hellstrom is supposed to be the the boy and the girl, the twins, and they're literally the children of the devil. 
So it's like supernatural type yeah. stuff. So I, I don't know. I just gotta see what it's gonna be like. I guess. Yeah, I was gonna say like with D twenty three coming up, they might share something, but on the other hand, like if those shows are meant to be, you know, darker and on Hulu, they may not, they may not, you know, present info on that. I think D twenty three. They're mostly gonna talk about the shows that we that we had for Disney Plus. I think Loki, and right? Falcon and stuff like that. Right. I yeah. I think they're gonna be talking more about the stuff that's more more mass market appealing. Right. And Mandalorian too, hopefully. And the Mandalorian. Yep. But yeah, I mean, going back to Marvel TV though, I think. I don't know, in terms of, like, the Supernatural characters, I'm really glad they did not get Blade, because that was a rumor for a while, too, that, uh, that Jeff Loeb and, and Marvel Studios were fighting over who would get Blade. <laughs> it was like, he wanted Blade to cross over with, um, freaking Ghost Rider and all that, but I'm, I'm so glad that Maybe. Marvel Studios got him. Because I'm like, dude, I do not want to see a TV version of Blade, because that's what happened with, um... Sticky fingers. Daredevil and Punisher and stuff. Like, those characters are meant for the big screen. Yeah, yeah but the last time Daredevil was on the big screen... <laughs> it kind of... uh, well, it could be better, though. <laughs> if it was under Kevin Feige, because then we could get Daredevil and Spider-Man and, you know, crossovers and stuff, so... Yeah, because yeah, yeah, cause we got to remember, there was a time before Kevin Feige, you know, where a lot of the Marvel movies were hit and miss... I think the best, I think the best ones were Sam Raimi's Spider-Man movies. You yeah, remember Elektra? I owned it on Blu-ray. You know, I don't even, I don't even think I ever saw Elektra. Good. Nope. I don't remember <laughs> that one at all. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I guess to wrap up my thoughts on the Marvel TV stuff, I kind of wish that they would honestly just shutter Loeb's division and like connect it all to Marvel Studios because it kind of sucks. Like when you think about it, like all these shows they have. Cloak and Agger and Runaways included and just throw all of them together <clears throat> and there's also talk about um, them making a new female led show for ABC when S.H.I.E.L.D. ends so it's like you have all these shows but they're not really all connected to the MCU but yeah anyways I think that's going to round out the episode so let us know your thoughts down in the comments below what do you guys think of the news and stuff we talked about uh, Marvel TV's expansive plans if you want to follow me on Twitter you can find me at who's underscore Nick. James, where can the people find you? So they can find me on Twitter at Hair Beverage, or they can also find me on Instagram at Bevs1865. Aaron, where can they find you at? They can find me in a trash can. They can <laughs> find me... <laughs> they can find me in your local college juniors, but mainly you can find me on the... Instagrams at the real Aaron Alexander. And if you guys want to ask us questions for next episode, you can tweet at our main account, at HNE Social. And yeah, we'll catch you guys next time.